about what interests you. A tool called Google Trends is one of many that we use to help us see what's bubbling up online. Take a look. This graph shows you how many people were searching for the phrase solar eclipse in D.C. over the last 24 hours. You see that steady downward trend. Not unexpected. But then look at this. It's a chart tracking the number of Google searches for my eyes hurt. And yeah, it spiked right after the eclipse, after work and before bed. And then it spiked again today. If you were one of the people frantically Googling about post-eclipse eye pain, you're not alone. Pete Bunting walked into a meeting this afternoon here in the newsroom and announced he thought he had what he called eclipse eye. So we sent him to the experts. For this spectacle, the specs were mandatory. These were lent to me by reporter Mike Valerio. But what if they didn't work? It's Have you heard of anyone who uh, had any problems after mm, the eclipse? Yes, there was a patient that came yesterday who with, um, with blurry vision. Dr. Alberto uh, Martinez pacified my paranoia. In fact, his practice, Visionary Eye Doctors, did a recall of sorts. It asked for people to return its promotional eclipse glasses, fearing they did not meet protective standards. Martinez says the real risk was to naked eyes. But if you look 10, 15, especially 20 seconds and above, you can get a permanent scotoma. Scotoma is just a hole in your vision. So I doubt very much you have anything like that, but let me examine you. Yeah, let's do it. So off we went. It started with the mundane THVDO. Excellent. And ended with my macula. That's the region of the retina responsible for keen vision. I was feeling a bit fuzzy. The result? 20, 20 plus or minus. Okay. So that's still very good. Yeah. That's excellent. You can, okay. you can fly a fighter jet if you want. <laughs> okay. That's important because I fly airplanes upside down for fun. Dr. Martinez says it's my worries that were loopy. You're telling me that this is not a problem even close to being with my eyes. So this is sort of a, a, a problem with my mind. <laughs> I sort well, of made up this issue. I didn't say you're crazy. but <laughs> And with that, proof that my eclipse eye was only in the eye of the beholder. Pete Mundine, WUSA 9.